Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Evelise. Thank you so much for watching. So for today's video, I just really wanted to sit down and just play with some makeup. Um, I got a new palette, which I'm so excited about. I haven't used it yet, but uh, I've been wanting to try this palette for so long. Um, it is the Sweet Talk palette from ColourPop. It is so pretty. Let me open it up for you so that way you can see the packaging of it. It is so pretty. Um, there are a couple of shades in here that I'm like, ooh, so excited to use. So obviously I'm going for a very pink toned look today. Yeah, love it. I'm so, so, so excited. So yes, I'm super excited to use this palette. So without any further ado, let's just jump into the tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and set my eyes with the e.l.f. concealer in the shade Fair. I'm putting this, it is obviously a pretty light uh, shade. I'm actually going to use my beauty sponge just to put it on my eyes. Just to blend that. It actually blends so well. So I will set this now with some powder. I am using the LA Girl Pro Face HD Matte Powder in the shade Nude Beige. And I will take this powder and I'm just using it just to set my eyes. I'm not using it to set anything else because obviously I don't have anything else on. Okay, so I will first hop in with this shade right here called Catch Me. It also has a name inside, which I appreciate, so it has it on both. So I'm going to use that shade. It is a very um, kind of matte, very um, light shade, very light pink shade. So I'm just using that all over my lid and crease just to kind of prep my eyes for the other shadows that I will be putting on. Now I'm going in with the shade Dream Maker, which is this one right here. I'm trying to make sure that no fallout happens. Oh, I can already tell how pretty this color is. I've actually really, really been wanting a color like this. That's like a super, super subtle, like muted type of pink. I love this one. I'm going to keep building this color up a little bit more just because it is building up so good. I feel like I say that about all of ColourPop's palettes. Every time I use one of their palettes, I say that these colors just build so nicely, but because they really do, it just looks so good. Now, I will go in with this shade right here called Meadow. It's just a tiny bit deeper. It looks actually a little bit more light toned. Everything looks a little lighter on camera than it does in person. So I'm just taking this same brush, like same everything, and I'm just putting this on. Sometimes it kind of makes me nervous to play with colors, play with like new eyeshadow palettes and stuff like for the very first time on camera. It, all, it always kind of makes me a little nervous because I'm like, what if I don't like the formula of something? What if like the look I do doesn't look good or like something? Or what if like the palette like isn't as good as I want it to be? But that's what first impressions are for as well. But this color is very pigmented. I've also been wanting a shade like this. I don't have anything like it. Because I want to put this shade. I want to eventually um, one day do a look with just this shade like all over my lid. I've been wanting a shade like this. And I think that would be perfect for that. Okay, I'm just taking a clean brush. And I'm just going to blend all of these together. These colors together. Make it very, very soft and... I really am going for like a soft, just cute, like girly, subtle look for this. I don't want to go too, too deep, but I also want to give it something. So um, I'm going to, with that same shade, I'm going with the same brush. I'm going to go into the shade um, ICYMI, just in case you miss it, is what I'm guessing it stands for, in case you miss it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm just taking that. And I'm just deepening up once again, going a little bit deeper in that crease. Oh my gosh, these colors are stunning. I love this palette so much. Like from the moment I saw that, uh, I saw like a picture of this palette, I was like, I want this. And it's been out for a little bit. Um, but I don't know. I just, I have been wanting to try it. There's so many new palettes I want to try. Sorry, excuse me. My puppy is barking outside. Um, there's so many palettes I want to try from ColourPop. Because um, they've just been releasing so many new palettes. And I've just been wanting to try all of them. Um, like the uh, Going Coconuts. Is that what it's called? Going Coconuts line. I want to try that one so bad. 
I want to actually go in with this one, West Side. Um, I'm going to go in with that one. Instead of keeping it all pink tone, I'm going to go in with that one just a little bit on the outer. Because I don't want to go too, too deep. But I want to give it a little something. My dog barks so loud. So sorry. That's really good. Okay, that's like what I want. Okay, and now I'm going in... I'm going to go in on this side to side shade right here. And I'm just going to be using that with my finger, of course. Ooh. Oh, man. This feels so good on the lid. Wow. Also, the reason I'm doing my eyes first is because there are a couple of um, glitters in here that I'm a little scared to use, but I want to use them. Um, but I also feel like there's going to be a lot of fallout with them. So yeah, so I'm going to use some of that. I'm going to take this Garden Date color right here, kind of right beside it. I'm going to use that Garden Date color and I'm going to take my other finger and I'm going to actually apply this on the outer edge right here. Oh, that is pink. Okay, that was very, very pink. And I'm going to use the same finger that had the original light pink color the side to side. I'm just mixing these two together. Kind of making it a little bit of like an ombre effect. Awesome. I'm going in with this Prima Drama. Um, I'm excited to use it, but I'm also really nervous to use it. So let me dip once into it. It's like glitter glitter. Like that's dipping one, like it dips a little bit and you can see it's glitter. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and just put it all over the lid. I'm really going for a glittery look. And I'm also going to bring this a little into the crease. I really just want to kind of go a little crazy with this. I am a fan. Wow. That is... Let me tell you. This is not plain. And there's just a couple of specks of fallout, so there's nothing crazy. And now I'm actually going to go ahead and um, highlight my brow bone. I'm going to take that side to side shade again right here and just use that one. I really don't see another like highlighting shade that you could use like for inner corner highlight and stuff besides this one um but this is like a very frosty shade so i don't know how crazy i am about this shade for highlight i wish there was another one that was not as shimmery sparkly now i'm taking this brush and just blending all of this together Ooh, yeah a little bit of that sparkle came off, but it's fine because I actually really, really like going back in with this color. It changed a lot of that, and it looks really, really nice. So before I actually move on, I'm going to put on some top mascara because I don't want any of this glitter to fall and get on the um, face products that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to do like three coats of my mascara. Okay, so this is the Essence Volume Stylus 18 Hour Curl and Hold Mascara. I'm going to be using this, and I'm going to do probably, yeah, like three, two or three coats. I'm going to be very, very careful with this. I already messed up a tiny bit. I think I need to use a different mirror. So let me... Yeah, using this mirror helps a lot. I feel like with this particular look, I want something um, like this. I think two coats is going to look good. I want something kind of with like a little bit more dramatic lashes, but more like um, soft yet dramatic, if that makes sense. I feel like these are like long enough to be kind of like, ooh, but like soft enough to make them not look like so crazy. Okay, now I'm going in with my concealers. Um, I'm using the HD lifting concealer from elf in the shade light and then i'm using um the revlon photo ready candid concealer in the shade 55 chestnut i um have never blended these two together i've never like mixed them um but let's see how they look this one is a very very kind of like a light color um so i'm blending that all the way down so and then the other one is a little more yellow toned this is a little more like 
if it's not as yellow the other one is more yellow tone that i will be using so we'll see how that one works this is one i'm going to use in most of the places um i'm going to be using the other shade on my under eyes as well just because i feel like this one could be a tiny bit too light on its own so i'm going to just do a few drops of this one um that actually is like it looks a little bit more similar than i thought it did i'm taking my be a small face flat brush and i'm going to use this to just blend all of these together okay now i am grabbing my um beauty sponge that I used and I'm just lightly going over all of the places that I put concealer just to make sure it's like fully blended in and everything. Now I don't do it all the time where I use like a brush and then a beauty sponge or whatever but I really like the way this looks. I honestly am such a fan of mixing those two concealers together. I am really really liking the way this looks. Okay now I am going to powder my face and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Face powder again. Um, and I'm just using some of this and putting this everywhere I put concealer. Okay, I'm actually going to go in and finish the bottom lash line. Okay, I will be taking the shade Dream Maker and Meadow. I'm just going to be taking those two light shades. I may go in and add some of this, um, in case you miss it, shade. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go Dream Maker and Meadow and mix it. And keep it pretty close to the lash line. Um, I think I still want this a bit deeper. So I'm going to go in with the ICYMI shade. Just use some of this as well. Connect the two. Just want to connect them to make them look a little more even. I'm taking the Wet n Wild brush this is what I used earlier to blend all of those colors and I'm actually going to take um the shade catch me no I'm not just kidding I'm going to take the shade work it I don't really think I used that shade a little bit ago um but I'm going to take that shade just to work these to get it work it work just to work these together at the bottom to make them look a little bit more cohesive and it'll kind of make it blend nicer into my under eyes I'm going to take my powder brush and just use this to kind of just run under that one more time. Okay, now I'm going to do an inner corner highlight and I'm actually going to still be using that shade side to side right here. So I'm going to take this kind of pencil looking brush from BS Small and I'm just going to tap into that and use that for my um, inner corner highlight still probably come a little bit more um it's not as dramatic as I'd want it to be so I'm gonna actually step into that prima drama again uh, I'm a little nervous because I don't want too much fallout to happen Ooh, just took a little bit of that wow okay I really like the way that looks go a bit crazy with the glitter why don't we Okay, I don't know, I, I feel like it's a little different than what I usually do and I'm actually kind of feeling it right now. Okay, now for bronzer, I'm going in with the Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche from Wet n Wild. I'm taking this um, angled blush brush from e.l.f. and using this lightly to get some product. Move my hair from my face. Because I feel like it keeps getting caught. I feel like I'm so washed out right now. I feel like the um, powder really washed me out. I don't know why. I'm just trying to give some more color back to my face. So I put some on my nose as well, per usual. I really, really want a more defined look with the bronzer today okay and for blush i am using my mary Kay blush in the shade orchid so i'm taking the wet n wild 
contour brush and I'm just putting some of this on my cheekbones. I'm just smiling to apply this on here. And a tiny bit on my nose. Um, I actually kind of feel like I want a more dramatic blush look. So I think I want to add a little bit more on my blush. So I'm taking this blush from, um, I forget where it's from again, the Color Workshop, I think. Um, and I'm taking this, and this is a very pigmented blush. And I'm just applying some of that. I have to take a lot of this off before I use it. Okay, I feel like this is such a good color for this. You have to take a ton of it off. It's a very pigmented blush. Um, I love that blush look now. And I still feel like I need a tiny bit more um, bronzer. So I'm going to take this, um, what is it called? Beauty Benefits Hollywood Bronzer. And I'm just going to deepen this up a little bit more. Just because I really, really want to make this look very, very, like, done up. Okay, now before I do my highlight, I'm going to go in with my brows. I should have done those, like, a long time ago, but whatever. And I'm using the LA Colors Brow Lift Brow Pencil. And it is in the shade Medium, I believe. Yeah. So I'm just going to use this. Um, just trace the top. I'm not going to go super crazy. Um, this is a... Every time I've used this, I feel like it's a tiny bit dark, but it's okay. Um, I didn't want too, too dark of brows for this look. I kind of wanted to keep it a little more subtle. But yeah, I'm really excited with how this look has turned out so far. I really, really like it. I was a little nervous about the glitter. Obviously, I said that, but... Um, it is still a bit much, but I, I don't know. I really, really like it. I think, like I, like I said, I don't do these types of looks all the time. Like with like a bunch of glitter, I'll use a shimmer on my lid like almost every day. Like that's no problem for me. But whenever it comes to like a full on like glitter, uh, it can be a little terrifying. Not going to lie. Cause I was just like, I had no idea what to expect. I had never used a glitter from, um, color pops so I was like just not knowing what to expect at all because the formula of them is um yeah it's a pressed glitter that's the formula the pressed glitter and so um, I'd never used a pressed glitter from them before and so I was just a little nervous but I love it so now I'm going to add some bottom mascara before I forget that as well so I'm just going to add a couple of coats of this I feel like that is going to make this look a lot better as well going a bit overboard with that but it's okay. I'm actually going to put some eyeliner on. I never put eyeliner on, but I'm going to put some on actually. This is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade 02 Hot Chocolate. Uh, I'm just going to uh, waterline. I'm going to put some of this in my waterline. I'm not going to tight line or anything. I'm just going to put some on my waterline. Um, I just always put a tiny bit on when I put some on. I just felt like this needed just a little something extra, you know? I'm going to add some more. I hate putting eyeliner on, honestly. I don't like it. Which is why I never wear it. But I just feel like adding a little bit extra would be good. And then now I think all I need is highlights and then I am done. So I'm using my Profusion Pink Nudes palette for my highlight. And this is in the shade Smashing. It's this one right here. Very used. You can tell. So I'm just going to put some of this on. I really want a highlighted look today. I'm going a bit dramatic just because I really want to kind of match the um, glitter that I have all over. So I really want to make sure that this is just like pretty well like highlighted. Going a bit overboard, but it's okay. Tip of nose, bridge of nose. Okay, and now for lipstick, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick in the shade Give Me Mocha. Really like this one. I feel like this is going to be a really good shade. I usually have to go in with like two or three coats of this, like layers of this, because it is a kind of drying lipstick as well. 
I feel like this is just such a good shade for this. But yeah, this is the entire look. I hope you guys enjoy it. I really, really like it. I know it's a bit much and this isn't something that would usually be like an everyday look but I really like the way it came out. I love Colourpop and I love their palettes and uh, I just love all of their launches. They've been doing so many launches here lately and I just really want to try all of them. But so I hope you guys once again enjoyed this look. Please let me know if there's anything else you would like for me to do. Just leave it down in the comments below. Um, go ahead and click that notification bell if you would like to be notified of when I post. And go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel if you will down below. You can also go and follow me on Instagram at Marie underscore makeup. Um, I'll try to post all of my like looks on there and stuff. And just when I post on YouTube, I'll also be posting on there. But yeah, just so if you'd like to be more informed, you can go and follow me on there as well. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and night. I've said that multiple times now, but I really mean it. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.